Hello, this is Toby Barris for DMAnswers.com. Today I'll talk about R integration and how we can extend the features of, of Statistica by using R statistical language. Uh, to be able to, to talk about this, we're going to use some data from the NBA from the current season. This is the top 50 players in terms of points scored per game and then some other statistics as well. So field goal percentage, free throw percentage, total rebounds per game, assists per game, stills per game, and then blocks per game. So we're going to try to figure out how to do a, a heat map using R statistical language um, and integrate that into Statistica. So first of all, you'd have to have the integration of Statistica. So let me just make a few comments about that. If you have R installed on your computer, then Statistica will automatically recognize that as long as you have the latest maintenance release of version 12. And that particular version is V12 AUPD008. And if you go to the Statsoft website and look up maintenance releases, you'll find that, that is the, there's an installer and it'll check and it will it'll install the latest maintenance release for you. So first of all, you're going to do that. Once that's installed, you can start up Statistica. It'll recognize your R installation and it'll automatically integrate them together. And so what I'm about to show you will become automatically available once you do that. Now let's talk about the R script that we would need to have written. So here it is. Um, I've just oh, created this R script in Notepad. So and you could use any text editor you'd like to use. The first command is something that is a command that is for specifically for Statistica. If you put uses and then uh, the package name in R, it will not understand that command. But this strictly just tells Statistica if that this particular script uses this package. And if it doesn't have that package installed, it'll go and install it for you. The library command is X or it essentially loads that package in. This right here is a, a command specifically for Statistica. The active data set is then assigned to an object MBA. And then this right here is where you take the, the column player. So you notice over here in the MBA data set, the column player, you're going to assign that as the row names of this data set. Then you reassign the MBA to the columns of NBA 2 through 8. So essentially what you're doing is you're just lopping off the first column after you assign the row names to the data set. The reason you need to do that is because the next step when you go to create a, a matrix using this data, it'll mess things up if you have that first column of the player still and it tries to pour, put that into the matrix with the other data points. Okay, so now that you've created a matrix, you can insert that into the heat map. Um, I won't go into a lot of details about options. There are several more beyond what I am going to use here. I'm not going to use a dendrogram, which um, if you're not familiar with what that means, don't worry about it. If you are interested in life sciences and are specifically with um, genetics type data and you're interested in microarray data, the dendrogram could be very useful. One thing I do like about the heat map too, heat map is available in the base package heatmap.2 gives you a key and I'll show you that so like a legend and I'll show you how that is useful anyway without further ado I'm just going to show you that as long as you save this this text as um, let's see let me save as um, if I go to save this as um, a text file it won't work I need to save it as .r and once I do that it'll be recognized as a statistica macro so let me just go show you how that works. Okay, so I can go and open this uh, heat map now with the .r extension, and it's recognized as a Statistica macro. I'll um, maximize this. Okay, so notice that it has pulled in the code that is created, but it also has this underlying SVB macro that ex makes it possible to execute this R script. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that, though. That, that's something that's been provided by Statistica. So all I have to do is go down and click the play button. 
and it will create the heat map for me. Let me expand this out so you can see this a little bit better. So notice the first thing it does is it, it in the report, this ex, or the output is put into a statistical report, and it shows me first the commands that were used in the R script, and then it'll output any graphs that are, uh, are the output of that particular R script. So there's the key, and notice this is what I've done. Um, if I go back up here, the scale has been equal to columns. So in other words, it's scaled it for each column, and it's done it by a z-score. So it goes from up to a, a positive 4 to a minus 4 z-score. So here we have the players on the, the right um, hand over here. And then let me see if I can expand this a little more so you can see this. And then the statistical categories are in the bottom. And so you'll see here, and I'm sorry about this, that it's not really fitting very well. Let me see if I can expand this just a little more so you can see it. So you have the field goal percentage, free throw percentage, and so forth. What you'll notice is that Kevin Grant is very above average, um, the highest as far as scoring, um, but he's pretty average for the other categories, except for free throw percentage, which he's above average. Uh, another person to point out would be LeBron James. He's a little bit less on points per game, but he is above average on field goal percentage. So he might be considered a little bit more efficient in his scoring than Kevin Grant. Another person we'd be interesting to look at is uh, Kevin Love. He's right behind them on uh, scoring, but he's also doing really well in total rebounds per game. And... Uh, so and he also does well in the free throw percentage. So he does well in three different categories, pretty average in some of them, and he is a little bit below average on steals per game. So that's how you can look at this, and it kind of gives you a, a graphical way of comparing the players. Uh, what I think is interesting is look for players that are maybe not just one dimensional, but more complete players. And so they'd be ones that um, are above average across the board. I mean, here's a person here, um, Mike Conley that he's average for points per score for games and blocks, but he is above average in steals, assists, free throw percentage, and field goal percentage. So he's a pretty complete player. And then you have a Chris Paul that's very good at steals and assists, um, and also free throw percentage, but is a little bit below average for blocks and field goal percentage. So it kind of gives you this idea of how they compare across all these different statistics. So this is a nice um, plot to be able to help you do that. And we've been able to do that by extending Statistica by using R. And the other thing that's nice about this is this plot now um, can be saved. Um, so I can just click on this. Um, I can annotate this graph using Statistica. Let me go back out here. I can save this item as um, a graph, different graphics. Um, it kind of This extends beyond the screen but you can save it as PNG file, which I'll just select. And then if I do that, I can save this at different resolutions. So I could save it as a 600 dot per inch PNG file, which would be very high resolution so that you could print it out if you, if you wanted to. So this gives you a lot of options that are not necessarily available in R. So you can extend R as well by putting uh, the graphics into Statistica and gaining the, the advantages that Statistica affords as well. So I thank you for listening, and I hope you find this useful to use heat maps in R.